move on to now the real string matching algorithm so the string matching algorithm again this is here so we will look at it and then we will try our example so you have length of s n is length of s that is string m is length of p then you compute prefix function q is zero initially for i is equal to number of characters matched that is represented by q so now initially it will be zero i run from i is equal to one to n so what happens so if p q plus one is equal to s i it means at least one character has matched so then q should be incremented so the characters now presently they got matched you increase q by one okay but if there was partial matching so there was let's say q was five till three it matched then it did not match you need to shift the window okay slide the window that okay now again our matching is not complete and what is the next shift i can make so that will be given by q is equal to pi q because this pi has the knowledge about how much shifting we should do so that still a prefix which becomes the suffix now it is matching at least some part is matching so that i can know by pi and i will align my window there so you will understand this with the next when we see the example if q is m then our pattern has matched okay and then we make q is equal to pi q so again shift to match because we want more than one patterns to be found so next let's look at one example that will make it clear so this is our example and again we have a b a b a c a so we have already computed pi 0 0 1 2 3 0 1 okay so this is there already pre-computed in o of m time this pattern we already know so this is known and let's start now so we have this window here a b a b a c a so what happens now the algorithm says that okay you have a q which is zero which tells how much matching has been done okay so initially we try to match this i runs from i think one to n if you see in our algorithm here so this runs from i is equal to 1 to m so we run this here and we see here so this doesn't match so what should we do so i is equal to 1 it did not match so i will become now 2 and we will try to match the pattern here so i will start something like here a b a b something like this pattern will go on a matches here okay one matched then we will have k is equal to 1 we will increment and then your i becomes 3 here okay so i becomes 3 but this pattern now p of k plus 1 this does not match so what we do in this case now we have k is equal to 1 till 1 it matched but after that it did not match so we need to know what will be the new value of k that is how much matching if at all is there so pi of k k will now become pi of k so it will decrement it will be something smaller so pi of 1 which will be 0 from here so we will now refresh our matching sliding window and it will become at a b a b something like this it will go on so now at c again so a is not matching so what will happen we will come here so this k is still 0 so we come here a b a b a c a so this is also not matching right now this a so v k is 0 so we will move further i will become now this one so now we come to this place and let's try to remove a few things so that it's easier to understand okay so we are right now at this place so a b a b 
A C A. So A is matching. So K is one. Again, I increments. A B matches. Then again, A matches. So K becomes three now. K becomes four, and then K becomes five. And here, what is the value of I? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I is nine and our K is here is A B A B A. So K is five. So this is a good matching. But now next when I becomes ten, we find that B and C doesn't match. Okay, so this is something we went so far ahead and then there is some mismatch. So what will happen now? So what will happen is that. now there will be our matching will become something smaller and that we need to find so how will we find k will become pi of 5 now whatever was k so pi of 5 we will see here in table so pi of 5 is 3 so it becomes 3 so now let's try to see this is very important point why k is becoming 3 what does it mean okay so let's try to see what does it mean when i say k is 3 so now also if you see we did not get a match at this point okay so but still and you see a b a b a we have matched till this part and now when there is a mismatch still we have we move further so if we slide the window here again if we slide it by so 2 then there will be a matching so here it will be k is equal to 3 are still matching okay a b a so what happens 3 are still matching here then we move further okay so k becomes 3 so it means now when i becomes 10 so k is 3 now i is equal to 11 so what will happen now so a b a are matching so we will start from here a b a b a c a and now if you see so this if we put the sliding window here because it tells now that okay pi k is equal to pi of 5 it means it is 3 so we are matching till here and we will start by comparing when it will match the next character with the p of k plus 1 so p of 3 plus 1 is 4 p of 4 matches with this next one and then we continue k becomes 4 we match here this one also matches so we get a match here complete so this will be the point where we have a match so this matches the pattern so now let's try to think what is the time complexity of this function so this kmp matcher so this if you see so this for loop is running from i is equal to 1 to n and then this happens only once here okay so if you try to analyze this will also be theta of so o of n times this will be the value okay so this is there about the kmp matcher so we will see in our next lecture more about how we calculate exactly the time complexity of the kmp algorithm so here we try to understand how it really works because in fact it's hard to understand how it works so we here saw we saw with one example how the kmp algorithm works in next class we will see how what is the time complexity of this algorithm okay so in fact this is quite enjoyable you have to first calculate the prefix prefix tells that okay even if there is a mismatch then after that mismatch still what is the matching that is still there so for example 5 was matching now the next one was not matching so still 3 were matching still so some shifts of itself they try to calculate so i hope you understand this thanks a lot if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel